It's another travel day. This time we're heading from Brazil to Dubai, an overnight in Dubai, and then on to Qatar after a hectic three days in this uh, magnificent metropolis. Well, that was a significantly shorter trip from the track to the airport than it was from the airport to the track when I arrived because it's a Sunday night. The trick here is I want to stay airside at Dubai Hotel. I want my baggage to be checked all the way through to Doha, but it's about a 12 hour layover and they are different airlines, but Emirates owns Fly Dubai. So hopefully they'll allow me to check my bags all the way through to Doha and I can just go to the airport hotel and have a snooze there and wake up and catch my flight. On the paperwork side, all that was required was a PCR test. Nothing more, nothing less. The guys behind me are F1 fans, and there's not many of them, probably maybe eight or ten here, and they're hopeful of meeting a driver because obviously many will come out through this airport tonight. Now my memories of this lounge are that it's basic at best. The lounge in Dubai is something special, but this lounge is a shocker. The food in general, it's pretty ordinary. Bordering on awful. Like the rice I just had here, it wasn't even hot, it had no flavor, and it's rice. How can you muck up rice? Welcome back, Mr. Roman. Nice to have you here. It's been a long time. Six yeah, months. happy to have you here also. One K. Okay. Hello, ladies. Hello. To the boom. Good to be here. It has been such a long time since I've been on an Emirates first class plane. I think the, f the last time was when I left Australia. Don't bring your own 2008. That's perfect. Right, so it's been a very long time since I've had a glass of champagne this good on a flight, so I need to say thank you to all of you for watching, and here's cheers, hopefully it's cold. Very cold, and very light and bubbly. And I'm no wine expert, but uh, I'm delighted to be back on this plane after the last flight, I think, was March 3 that I took in first class. In fact, that's the last Emirates flight I took, and that was to get out of Australia. Most of my flights this year have been short ones, two, three hour flights, because I'm staying away, not heading backwards and forwards to Perth. And one of the great things I love about this airline is this bag of goodies here. Nuts, chips, oh, the popcorn is fantastic. These chocolates by whatever that says. And I haven't had one of your little kits for quite some time. There's a sizable bag of stuff. There's deodorant and hopefully some shaving cream is there because if not I'm sure you have it in the uh, shower. Oh and that's the other thing about this aircraft. You can have a shower on board and I need a shower. Absolutely yes. Having oh okay yes. This is Bulgari. Yes. Bulgari aftershave, a towelette. Yes. I'll double check what, for... What is that? Is that women's perfume? I'm going to double check for you to go give you the familiar one. One second. Oh, that smells great. It's a great suite, I tell you. It's fantastic. It's not as, not their best. They have a, a better aircraft that I have flown on once into Brussels. That's Rolling Stones. Uh, that has a, an even better suite than this. An unfortunate error on Emirates part, but a very fortunate error for me because now I get the men's and the women's. <laughs> what do you have to say? That is a beautiful women's perfume. <laughs> That's what I wanted, the shaving foam. Oh yeah, look at this. That's a size too. You have your dental kit, you have your hoodie spray, you have your comb. I don't need the comb. <laughs> this is some <laughs> cream. Uh, here's another hydrating body emulsion. This one is uh, aftershave balm. So many products. 
And I'll make sure that the bracelet is ready for you when you go for your shower. Super, super. Excellent. Thank you. My pleasure. I would never eat caviar normally, but here, when it's included in the menu and the way they serve it, I can't get enough of it. For those of you keen to see what tricks there are in this suite, there is this with a towelette and some magic potions for your face. Oh, they still offer the little diary and the pen. And you've got a little mini bar. It's decadent. It's only eight people in the 14 cabins. The beauty of that is, as I did on my last flight, I'm gonna get three or four mattresses, a couple of quilts, and get myself a beautiful bed. You get Bowers and Wilkins headphones, which are noise canceling. And I think that's about all the freebies. We've kicked things off with some canapes, and the first one was a potato-y thing, it was quite lovely. This is a prawn and some sort of volivant. It's good. The third one on the right uh, is maybe fish. It's an amazing thing to be able to have a shower on a plane, and the Emirates A380 has such a shower. And I'm sure some people have one just out of curiosity, but I need one because I've been at the track all day, and it's fair to say, I'm fairly sweaty and desperately need to clean up. That was four minutes of pure joy. I'm refreshed, washed, and ready to go and eat now. One of the great things about this aircraft is the bar that's down the back where you can come and socialize with other people. There's food, there's drink. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. So this is my first martini. I don't think I'm a martini man. It was a good meal. The caviar was excellent. Steak, not bad. Not the best one I've ever had, but certainly better than what you get on most aircraft. And now it's time for six hours sleep. It's been seven hours since I spoke to you last time, and I've had some great sleep, and unusually and thankfully without a sleeping tablet. So now it's time for another meal, and I've ordered the prawns. Now, about a minute later, I've gone in to check my email, because you can get internet on that flight, and I've seen a message from Tonya, my wife, saying, you don't have accreditation for the Qatar race. So I've gone into a blind panic, checked into the FIA system, and sure enough, I have not applied for accreditation. This was an event added after the start of the season, and as such, I needed to apply for it separately. I didn't do that, so I'm heading to Dubai en route to Doha without any guarantee of being able to get into the race. So I've madly sent off some email, and I was so fortunate that uh, my contact in France managed to get my accreditation through within a couple of hours. So that was one hurdle jumped, but I didn't have a letter that I thought I needed to get into the country. Let's continue on. Hey, thank you. Right, take care. Ciao, guys. Right. Now I've got to um, battle with this entry into Qatar, and there's been a few hiccups. I have two things to overcome, and I'm not sure how I'm going to go, but I'll know in about an hour for the first thing and about 13 hours for the second. I live in hope. I booked uh, a room at this airport hotel. And this gentleman's here to meet me, so that worked out beautifully. This is the Dubai International Hotel. It's actually airside here at the airport, which means you don't have to go outside the terminal and catch a taxi. Not very good value, but good rooms and very convenient. Eight hours on and three hours sleep later, I'm now heading away from the hotel and off to my gate to see how we go getting into Doha today. Good morning. So this is the Fly Dubai Lounge. It's uh, nothing special to look at, but the food is far superior than, say, the lounge that Emirates uses in Brazil, which was shocking, inedible stuff. This is very good. Well, 
Well, this has come as quite a surprise. I did not expect Fly Dubai to be having such a glamorous business class. I thought it might have been three seats with the middle seat blocked out, but clearly it's not. Being an 8.45 a.m. departure, this is what we get served. We get a nice breakfast with some yogurt, some fruit, and some pastries. Thank you, ladies. Bye. I've got to tell you, I was more than a little concerned that my paperwork wasn't exactly right, but I need not have worried because after a few questions, I got a sticker in my passport and a stamp, and uh, I'm delighted to be a guest of the Qatari government. You'll remember I had my phone stolen going back uh, to the Mexico GP. Well, I've uh, got a new one. It's been delivered here to Doha, and I'm collecting it, and I can't wait to get rid of this iPhone 7 that I've had. This is very elegant. My gosh. So this is my home for the next four days. It might well be the artiest hotel I've stayed at all year. I'm gonna ask you one final thing before you leave. Can you please like the video? Actually two, can you please subscribe? With that said, I'm gonna say thank you for watching and stay passionate. Yes, beautiful.